What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt DeVille with Counter Punch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Oscar Valdez. Oscar Valdez says that herbal tea is to blame for testing positive for the Fentermine. By Dan Ambrosi, the WBC super featherweight champion, Oscar Valdez's attorney, Pat English, says herbal tea may be the reason why Oscar tested positive for the banned substance Fentermine. The positive test was from Valdez's A sample. ESPN is reporting that the news of the positive test for Valdez and his September 10th title defense, Robertson Concicao, could be at risk. Valdez Concicao are scheduled to meet in the main event of the Casino del Sol in Tucson, Arizona. Top ranked boxing is promoted by the ESPN card. They still have they still have the test they still have tested the B sample however if Valdez is testing positive because of the herbal tea the B sample should come up positive too if English is correct about the herbal tea containing the fen, fen, fentermine it should be easily it should be easy to produce the tea and have it tested to confirm what he's saying the top rank promoted Valdez 29 and 0 with 23 KOs tested hot for the bands banned fentermine during a voluntary anti-doping association test. Um, that drug is considered a weight loss drug, which helps a person to make weight if they are struggling. Valdez reported, reportedly tested positive for the trace amounts of fentermine. So if there's a threshold amount that one must test positive for before it's considered a failed test, that may be one of the avenues for Valdez to take to slide out of this. Now, states his uh, attorney, Mr. Valdez, had no knowledge that he was taking fentermine, and that we believe at this point it comes from an herbal tea, said Valdez's attorney, Pat English. Okay, now let me pound. Let me counterpunch. I was waiting for this. Okay. Um, here's the problem the tests show whatever's in your body right okay your test shows whatever's in your body and it shows you what you've doing it shows a history of whatever you put there and the explanation on why it's there is really up to you. But regardless of the fact, it's there. So fortunately, Oscar could say, hey, I had no knowledge like he did say. It came from the herbal tea. And I didn't, will, you know, willfully take something that I knew that was illegal. You could easily say that. You could, you could argue with the logic of saying, why would I do that? Why would I do that when I know everything is on the line for me? You know what I mean? Why would this happen? Just like Canelo with the beef. Like, yo, I didn't know about the shit. You know what I mean? But here's the counterpunch. Okay? That's why, unfortunately, it's good news. Because it doesn't matter if you don't or you did. You still have it in your system and you're responsible for what goes in your body. Ultimately, it's up to you. Regardless of what the hell it is, if if uh, this hand sanitizer had some type of some substance in it and I rubbed it in my skin and I tested positive for something, well, it's bad because what I use is something that I should have knowledge of. Now, here's the deal. The question I asked is, why would you or how would you know? that that had that in it. Counterpunch. How would you know that the tea had that in it? Or not? You know, like, hey, I tested positive. It had to be the tea. Because you, you guys understand, if, if it's the tea, or you just thought, oh, you know what, it, it had to be that damn tea. Then the problem would be, if you knew what it could have been, why did you take it in the first place? Why was you drinking herbal tea then anyhow? 
Why weren't you just taking regular tea that didn't have that in there if you were sure where it came from or where the source was? See, if a person doesn't know, they would be dumbfounded. Like, how do I know? How do you know? You look it up, right? Okay, that's the other problem. The knowledge is power. When you look up something and you know like, hey, this is what has this in it, like there has to be an explanation. You're looking for ex explanations on why this is in your system. Well, other, well, the argument could be, well, if you looked it up then, why didn't you look it up before? You see what I mean? That's the problem with that. That's why fortunately and unfortunately, right, for Oscar, he could say, hey, I didn't know, but it's still in your system. It's still in your body. They don't care if you didn't know or not. They're gonna put you on a six month vacay like they did Canelo, right? First offense, no money deductions or nothing like that, which that should change because it should change because they should start taking some of the, because this is what they should do. Okay, you didn't know. We're gonna put you on suspension, but we're gonna take 30% out of your next purse. That way, you won't be sitting around doing shit thinking or what. No, you have to, you're an athlete. You have to be concerned with what goes in your body. It's a hard lesson to learn, but how hard is it really? You know what I mean? Canelo really just had a slap on the wrist, didn't he? He didn't really pay any money. He just had six months. And in that time, it, he took the time to have a cosmetic knee surgery, right? So, I mean, he really was chilling. Oh, I fight once instead of twice. I make 20 million instead of 40. <laughs> You know, no, you know, big deal. And I get a six months off. I could do really what I want to do then, you know? So I, I think for Oscar saying, hey, it was in this, it was in that. Well, you know, I mean, it really didn't, it really didn't matter at this point because there's no way of knowing if you knew or not. Because nobody knew Oscar Valdez's intention. He could very well be telling the truth. Like, hey, I was drinking this shit. And, you know, that's the only reason that I could see because we looked it up and it was the tea. Oh, well, it was the tea. Well, in that case, if it is the tea, like they say, though, that means they should be able to find out what amount is in the tea versus what amount is in he. Right? So, I... Bars. <laughs> so I feel that it doesn't really matter because pragmatically they look at it like, look, you're responsible for whatever goes in your body. Fortunately and unfortunately for Oscar Valdez, because, you know, that's his scapegoat or his way out. But there should be some type of price being careless because this is all this is. You, he's either careless or malicious. OK, that's you. He's one of two ways. He either knew that he was taking it and was trying to get that edge. That's how he was knocking people's block off, or he didn't know and being careless by drinking tea, right? But again, like I said in the other video, if you've always been taking that tea, you've all you've always should be tested positive for that particular substance. Okay, so that's the thing. But Vada doesn't worry about that. Like they did Canelo. They didn't give a shit where it came from. That's just what you're pleading. But ultimately, you tested positive, so something has to happen. I bet you Canelo won't eat any more beef, will he? And he shouldn't have any more tea, regardless if he knew or didn't. But anyway, you guys tell me what you think of Oscar Valdez saying that it was the herbal tea that caused him to test positive for fentermine, or mean. <laughs> Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been counterpunching. Peace.